topic is rationalizing sets. When we want to rationalize a set, now if I have square root of a over square root of b, now this is considered to be irrational when the set sign or the radical sign is what? At the denominator. So for us to get rid of this, what we are going to do is if I have square root of a over square root of b, for me to rationalize this, I multiply this by square root of b and then here by square root of b. So this becomes square root of AB over B. So if you are able to get rid of the radical sign at the denominator and you get a constant there, it means you have rationalized the set. Now let's take for example, if I have 3 over root 2. Now if I want to rationalize this, I just multiply this by root 2 and here by root 2. So the radical sign you have there, multiply this, that same radical sign with the number and the numerator and then the denominator. So it's as if you multiply this by one because root two over root two will give you one. So this is the same as this. So this will give you three root two over root two times root two is also two. So you get three root two over two. Now, assuming I have five over three minus root two and I've been asked to rationalize this set. Now what is going to happen is in this situation, we look at the denominator. The denominator is giving us 3 minus root 2. So what we are going to do is, we multiply the denominator by the conjugate of it. So if I have 5 over 3 minus root 2, I'm going to multiply the numerator and then the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator, which is 3 plus root 2, and here by 3 plus root 2. Then we perform the normal multiplication method with length in algebra. So 5 times 3 will give us 15, and then 5 times root 2 will give us 5 root 2. Now we go to the denominator. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times root 2 will give us positive 3 root 2. Minus root 2 times 3 will give us minus 3 root 2. And negative times positive is negative. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. So when we simplify further, this will give us 15 plus 5 root 2 divided by... Now, if I have 3 root 2 minus 3 root 2, this is going to give me 0. So I'm left with 9 minus 2, which will give me 7. So my final answer becomes 15 over 7 plus 5 root 2 over 7, which is the same as this. Okay? So this is how we rationalize sets. So in the case where this is 3 plus root 2, you are going to multiply here by what? 3 minus root 2 and 3 minus root 2. That's its conjugate, the opposite. Okay? So let's solve some questions on the rationalization of sets. Assuming we are given a question, express root 2 plus root 5 divided by root 10 in the form a root 5 plus b root 2, where a and b belong to the set of rational numbers. So we are given root 2 plus root 5 divided by root 10. And we are asked to solve this and leave our answer in the form a root 5 plus b root 2. Now when we look at this, this is what? An irrational number. So for us to rationalize this, you are going to multiply the numerator and then the denominator by what? Square root of 10. So this is going to give us square root of 2 plus square root of 5 over square root of 10 times root 10 over root 10. So the root 10 over root 10 means we've only multiplied this by 1. Because when we cancel out, this will give us 1. So we go and then we do our normal algebraic expansion for uh, binomial and then a monomial. So if I have this and I have this, then we multiply root 2 times root 10, then plus root 5 times root 10. Okay, so root 2 times root 10 plus root 5 times root 10, then divided by root 10 times root 10. Now earlier on, we learned that if we should multiply square root of a times square root of b, this is going to give us the square root of what? a times b. So if I have square root of 4 times square root of 7, this will give me the square root of what? 4 times 7, which is what? 28. So the same way, if I have square root of 2 times square root of 10, I can write this as square root of what? 20. Plus square root of 5 times square root of 10 is equal to square root of what? 50. Divided by root 10 times root 10 is square root of 100, which is equal to what? 10. Or root 10 times root 10 is 10. So we have 10. Now, the root 20, we can simplify it. 
Okay, now we simplify the square root of 20. This is going to give us square root of what? 4 times 5. And when we simplify this, this will give us square root of 4 times square root of 5, which will give us 2 root 5. So I can write square root of 20 as what? 2 root 5 plus the square root of 50 can also be simplified as square root of 25 times 2, which will give us square root of 25 times square root of 2, which will give us 5 root 2. So this can also be written as 5 root 2 divided by 10. Now, under normal circumstances, if I have a plus b all over c, this can also be expressed as a over c plus b over c, because our LCM is still what? c. So I'm going to express this as 2 root 5 over 10 plus 5 root 2 over 10. Let me go on and simplify. 2 will go here 1, 2 will go here 5. So I have 1 over 5 times root 5. Or I have root 5 over 5. This will give me root 5 over 5 plus 5 will go here 1, 5 will go here 2. This will also give me root 2 over 2. Now, don't go and then cancel out the 5 and the 5 in the radical sign. It is wrong. Okay? So you leave your answer this way, which can also be written as 1 over 5 root 5 plus 1 over 2 root 2. Now, in the question, we were asked to find or we're asked to write it in the form a root 5 plus b root 2. And you can see that this can also be expressed as a root 5 plus b root 2, where my a is equal to 1 over 5, and my b is equal to 1 over 2. So this is the solution to our question. Now we move to the next question. Moving to question 2, we are asked to simplify 2 plus root 3 divided by 3, minus root 2 minus 2 divided by 2. So we have 2 plus root 3 divided by root 3 minus root 2 minus 2 divided by root 2. So when you're asked to simplify something like this, there are two ways of solving this. The first way is to rationalize the left-hand side, okay? When you are done, you also rationalize the right-hand side, and then you subtract them. Now, if we should use that method, it means we are going to have 2 plus root 3 over root 3 times, when you want to rationalize this, you multiply this by root 3 and here by root 3. Then minus, we have root 2 minus 2 over root 2 multiplied by root 2 over root 2. So rationalizing both sides, this is going to give us, this is going to give us, we shall have 2 times root 3, which is 2 root 3, times, so plus root 3 times root 3, which is 3. Divided by root 3 times root 3 is what? 3. So we multiply this times this, which is 2 root 3, and then root 3 times root 3, which give us the 3. Divided by, then root 3 times root 3 give us 3. Now, minus, then we move to the right hand side. We also multiply with 2 times with 2, which will give us 2, minus 2 times with 2, which will give us 2 with 2, divided by with 2 times with 2, which will give us 2. So we have 2 with 3 plus 3 over 3, minus 2 minus with 2 over 2. Now, normally some students like to add 2 plus 3 and say this is 5 with 3. When you do that, it's wrong. Okay? This has a term of root 3. This one doesn't have 1, so that is it. It's as if you have x plus y. You can't add them. So we go ahead. Now, we are going to simplify this fraction. Now, what's the LCM of this fraction? The LCM of 2 and 3 will be 6. So 3 will go into 6 2 times, which will multiply this 2. So we have 2 into 2 root 3 plus 3 minus 2 will go into 6, 3. So we have 3 into 2 minus 2 root 2. Now, when we go ahead and then we expand, okay, we have our 6 as our denominator. Now, we have 2 times 2 root 3, and 2 times 2 is 4, so we shall have 4 root 3, plus 3 times 2 is also 6, minus 3 times 2 also give us 6, and minus 3 times negative 2, negative times negative will give us positive, and 3 times 2 is 6, so we have 6 root 2. 
Now, in our middle term, we realize that 6 minus 6 is 0. So this is going to give us 4 root 3 plus 6 root 2 all over 6, which can also be written as 4 root 3 over 6 plus 6 root 2 over 6. Where 2 will go here, 2, 2 will go here, 3. And 6 will go here, 1, 6 will go here, 1. So our final answer becomes 2 root 3 over 3 plus root 2. This becomes our final answer. So I want to give, use this opportunity to also give you another method of solving this. So when you are given 2 plus root 3 divided by root 3, minus root 2 minus 2 divided by root 2. Another way of solving this is finding the LCM of the denominators. Now if I have an LCM of root 3 and root 2, it means my LCM will be root 6. So root 3 will go into root 6, we have root 2. So root 2 will multiply 2 plus root 3 minus root 2 will also go into root 6, we have root 3. So root 3 will go into this, we have root 2 minus 2. Then we go ahead and then we expand. Our LCM is still root 6. So we shall have root 2 times 2, which will give us 2 root 2. Root 2 plus, then root 2 times root 3 will give us root 6. Minus root 3 times root 2 will give us root 6. And then minus root 3 times minus 2 will give us positive 2 root 3. Now when you watch the middle term, like previously, root 6 minus root 6 will give us 0. So we are left with 2 root 2 plus 2 root 3 all over root 6. Now, this is irrational, okay? So we can rationalize this and then get our answer. So we multiply here by root 6 and here by root 6 when we want to rationalize to get rid of the radical sign at the root denominator. So this will give us 2 root 2 times 6. We are going to do the normal multiplication. So root 6 times 2 root 2. This will give us 2 root 12. Then plus 2 root 3 times root 6 will give us 2 root 18. Because 6 times 3 is 18. Divided by root 6 times root 6 is 6. Now again, this will give us 2 times root 12 will give us um, 4 root 3 or 4 times 3, which is, okay, so root 12 can be written as square root of 4 times 3 which is square root of 4 times square root of 3, which is 2 root 3. So this will give us 2 times 2 root 3 plus 2 times root 18 is also 9 times 2. Root 18 is also square root of 9 times 2, which will give us square root of 9 times square root of 2, which is 3 root 2. So we shall have 2 times 3 root 2 divided by 6. 2 times 2 is 4. This will give us 4 root 3 over 6 plus 2 times 3 is also 6. So 6 root 2 over 6. 6 will cancel 6. 2 will go here, 2, 2 will go here, 3. Our final answer is 2 root 3 over 3 plus root 2. So which is the same as this. So you can either choose to first rationalize it and then solve it. Or you can go ahead, find your LCM, and when you are done, you rationalize it. So you get the same answer as this. Okay, so with this, we move to our next topic. Try and then solve more examples. I encourage you to solve more examples. These are very easy and very cheap to do when you practice it. So I, I encourage you all to go ahead and then solve some more examples. Until we meet again, see you some other time. Bye. 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 Bye.